What is going on guys? Oink here and fuck me, I've just blown about a hundred people's minds right now. Yeah, this is some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay and well, I've got a little story to tell, some kind of big channel update news I guess. That's what we're going to call it because that's what it is. Now, before anyone asks, yes, I did get into a prestige lobby a long time ago. That's why my classes are funny colours. Anyway, um, wow, okay, uh, let's get into this. First off, um, yes, I haven't been posting as much recently. I've just, so much work. I've been, like, work five days a week, you know, all day. It's been, it's been uh, a bitch, but all that money's, you know. <laughs> uh, after all, after all, YouTube, obviously, as most people should know, doesn't you know, doesn't earn most people's livings, unfortunately. So, that's uh, that's one thing out of the way. Second thing out of the way um, is, and this is where, uh, you know, the big news comes in, is I have decided uh, that my YouTube channel is going to focus now 100% on Gran Turismo content. Now, let me briefly explain this before some of you are like, Tafook! Uh, this is because, you know, I got into YouTube because I just enjoyed, I, I really look, it looked like it was a really enjoyable thing to do and, you know, be able to, you know, have that communication with people. And I, I just feel like part of the enjoyment that I get is really, you know, helping people out and knowing that people have enjoyed my content, which is why I make a lot, you know, quite a few tutorials and help videos, that sort of thing. Um, but... I, I've just gotten to the point where I feel like I don't really have a place in, let's say, the Call of Duty YouTube scene, you know, I, no one, I mean, obviously I've had some relatively successful videos in things that aren't Gran Turismo, but I, I really find that my forte, shall we say, you know, something that I really know what I'm talking about and really have a passion for is Gran Turismo, and I just feel like the more that I don't post Gran Turismo is more that I'm just deviating from, I don't know, I, I just really feel like this is what I want to start putting my time in YouTube wise into and so what I'm gonna say is you know if if you've subscribed to me and you still watch my videos for things other than Gran Turismo you know 100% if you're if you don't if you're not interested in you know staying on my channel for just me let's say and you're not interested in uh, Gran Turismo then you know by all means unsubscribe that's absolutely uh, you know fine that you know I recommend if you if you're not going to watch any single videos of mine from this point on because you you know you're not too bothered about me as a personality and you don't care about Gran Turismo then like I said I would suggest unsubscribing because that's what it's going to be from now on so I hope you guys understand that and I really do apologize to anyone who enjoys my uh, non Gran Turismo content and you know that's why you were here in the first place you know really I, I do apologize and it's it's been great doing other stuff but I just feel like this is where I want to go now and uh, really focus on that. So for everyone else who has, you know, supported me from Gran Turismo, then hopefully you'll um, appreciate that. And basically, yeah, lots of really cool content on the way. I hope. Um, by all means, people that are into Gran Turismo, give me feedback. Tell me what you want to see and that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, lo lots of things. Now, let me get back to the gameplay here. What I thought I'd do, given that this is effectively my last non-Gran Turismo video, at least for you know the due course of time. I figured what I'd do is go back to my very first video. Now, most people here won't have seen that video because it's got like a hundred views and I posted it like over a year, maybe two years. I can't even, I can't even know how long I've been doing this for. Uh, yeah, what I did was I was talking about like ghosting and shit like that and honestly, I recommend not watching it because it is the worst video. Oh my, it's just horrendous. Just please don't watch that, it's embarrassing. Now, <laughs> what I did was I actually replicated the class that I used in that first gameplay, which is, was a Tar Silenced um, Ghost Pro, I think, Ninja Pro, uh, Marathon Pro, bah, I don't know, Rafika Silenced, um, and the kill streaks was Pred, Harrier, and Havelo, which is kind of normal. Now, what I, what I did here is it's exactly the same with the exclusion of the Predator, which I switched out for a nuke. Now, let me get something straight with you guys. I haven't played any Call of Duty for about a month, and that one time was playing Black Ops, uh, you know, the first Black Ops, um, like, for two or three games with a bunch of mates, 
and then that was it. And before that, it's been like at least another month before I played Modern Warfare 3. And before that, uh, basically, I've literally played no Call of Duty for a long time. This game that you're watching now is the first game that I played for however that long is, I don't know. So I was super rusty and I was just like, there is no way I am going to get a nuke. No fucking way I am going to get a nuke on my first game coming back. Uh, you know, with, without even like AC-130 or Chopper Gunner, I had Harrier, um, Pavlo, <laughs> and then Nuke. And I was just like, this isn't going to happen, but fucking hell, I was in this point in, I don't know, what, like 19 to 0? Haven't died yet, and I was starting to get real excited. <laughs> fucking hell, my heart was pounding. And this is this has got to the point where I'm trying, can I get a Nuke? Shall I just take it easy and just try not to die or something? Like, what do I do? <laughs> but, uh, pretty sketchy. Um, I tell you something really funny as well. Actually, yeah, I'll leave that. For, but we'll find out how that goes. We'll find out. And, and uh, I took my ice ACR back here. Probably not the best idea. It had like ten bullets in it, which I used up straight away. Anyway, yeah. So like I said, this is going to be my last of non Gran Turismo video. So take it for what it is. And I hope you guys will appreciate my decision to uh, to really shift my focus just onto Gran Turismo because, like I said, that that's just what I want to do from now on. And um, yeah, so uh, I pick up this WA2000 here, shooting all over the place. And uh, this is the really funny bit. In my very first video, I went like 29 and 4, it was pretty average. And I, I ran out of ammo, and at one point, I picked up the Rafika. Uh, no, I had the Rafika out because I switched from my main gun. Oh, look at that, 21, and I get killed. And the funny thing was, in that video, my first death is because I ran out of ammo and switched to the Rafika and missed like three people in a row with it and then got killed. And I said, oh, and some really really bad Rafika shooting right there and funnily enough ironically enough that is exactly what happened in this video I got the uh, the Rafika out and it resulted in my first death of the game at 21 kills easily in range of a nuke because look here get a couple more kills and at 74 I think actually I was at 24 kills at this point so it would have ended the game had I got it but you know I might have stayed alive longer and got it which would have been funny a team deathmatch nuke isn't that easy in itself to do it on your first game of Call of Duty, you know, properly for months is, I don't know, it would have been awesome if I would given you guys a nuke right now, but I didn't really feel like playing much more quad because, yeah, other games to play. Anyway, <laughs> this has been kind of fun. Good old commentary on Call of Duty. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yes, by all means, if, um, if our time is at an end, then feel free to subscribe and it's uh, you know I appreciated all your support this way so I'll catch you guys soon peace